did another thing. I'll teach you to squirt water pistols at me. I don't need you to teach me. I'm good at it already. I'm warning you, boy. I'm in a particularly brittle mood at the moment. I won't stand for this impertinence. You could sit down, then. I could sit... You little fool. I have a raging headache. A booming, blinding, brain-bursting headache. And do you care? Do you? No. You don't give a hoot about me. You couldn't care less. Go away and leave me in peace. Take it easy. Army hearties, if you want a good time and you want a good laugh, tune into jolly old radio riffraff. Ah, shipmates, we be broadcasting live from somewhere in the seven seas. Ah, that we be. Transmitting on long waves, short waves, splishy waves, splashy waves, splashy waves. Any old waves you want, me heart, is ah. Now then, be patient. This morning's guest singer will be with us any minute now. Where is she? How should I know? Oh, isn't it marvellous? Army hearties, don't go away. This be jolly old radio riffraff. If you're down in the mouth and your heart has sank and you're feeling like going out and walking the plank then you're much too down in the dumps by far so stay with jolly old radio riffraff. You're Vocal, very vocal, wonderful radio riffraff. Pirate radio at its best. And now for another record. Jack! <laughs> another record. Well, since we all enjoyed that last record so much, we'll hear it one more time. Oh, great. Sorry. I can't keep playing the same record over and over again. Where on earth is our guest singer, then? I don't know where she is, do I? You booked her. She's your friend. She's not my friend. I never even clapped eyes on her. I just booked a guest singer. And that's exactly what we need here, right now. Somebody to come and sing a few good numbers. A good few numbers, yeah. Oh, Jack, Jack, take the boat. Go ashore and see if you can't find her. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, oh. Better! Switch that horrible thing off! I like it! Off! I have other things on my mind. What's fidgety freckleface up to now? You mean Debbie? Oh, please, don't make my headache any worse than it is already. Oh, terrific. She doesn't seem to be having much luck at the moment. Look at her glum little face. Oh, what's the matter, Deborah? Can't you find a silver well the number, eh? Oh, how pleasant to see her so down in the mouth. Almost makes me feel a smidgen better. <laughs> Almost. Just relax. Stop worrying. I think I will. Switch it off! <sighs> the seventh story, and still no sign of the silver number seven. I must find it. I must be Teabag. Ahoy there. Hello. Uh, are you a pirate? Well, not really. Why are you dressed like one then? I work on a pirate radio ship, so... <laughs> oh. Well, I'm glad you've finally arrived. You are? Yes. We certainly need someone who can help us out with a few numbers. Numbers? Yes. That's just what I'm here for. I thought you were. Well, I've only got six. Six numbers is plenty. Oh, no. I need some more. But for the moment, the seven will do. But you just said you only had six. That's right. Funny girl. I think I'm going to need some help with the seven, though. Seven, six, well, OK. You help us out, and I'll help you out. Great. Well, then, what do I have to do? Just come along with me, young lady. I think Sylvia will be right chuffed to see you. Sylvia? Yeah, come on. Oh, for pity's sake, where is he? <laughs> oh, I do love that record, shipmates, don't you? As a matter of fact, I think we'll play it one more time.
There must be something more soothing on now. Big rolls and fairy kids, not again! How do you do? I'm Sylvia. Long John Sylvia, they call me. Had a bit of bother getting here, did you? Well, not Oh, Sylvia. not to worry. You're here now, and that's the main thing. She has six numbers. And Jack says he'll help me out with the seven. Six? Seven? Keen, very keen. I like that. See that, Jack? The girl's keen to get started. Well, look lively, lad. Let's get this show on the road. Aye, aye, Captain. Come on, then. Over here. Just down there, and I'll get the microphone. I... I didn't understand. What do I have to do? Oh, 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 in a minute, darling. Uh, oh, uh, what's your name? Debbie. T-shirt, I'm off to bed. My head is splitting. I don't want to be disturbed. Oh, my head. Here's the local weather forecast. It's going to be a grand day, especially if you stay tuned to Jolly Old Radio Riff Raff. A blow me down if we ain't got a treat in store for ye now. She's the sweetheart of the seven seas, a desert island darling. She's the toast of the tropics. She's marvellous. She's sensational. And she's here to sing for you right now. What are you going to sing for us, Debbie? Sing? Sure, all our listeners are just waiting to hear from you. Me? Sure, so what's it going to be? Well, I... I... Um, do you know Blow the Man Down? da 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 Yes. Oh, great! Hit it, Jack! Blow the man down, bullies, blow the man down. Way, blow the man down, blow the man down in Liverpool town. T-shirts, turn that thing off! Your Majesty, come quickly, hurry quick! I said I didn't want to be disturbed! Oh, but Your Majesty! Give me some time to blow the man down. <gasps> wonderful, Debbie! And now, folks, here's another chance to hear some more of that wonderful record. She was on the radio! What are you blabbering about, boy? Who was on the radio? That girl, Debbie, she sang this song. It was really great. She was terrific. Quiet! <laughs> Stupid boy, you're hearing things. No, but I really... Not another word! <sighs> you were lovely, darling. Absolutely lovely. I thought you were blooming marvellous. Thank you. Well, now I've done my stuff. Now you keep your side of the bargain. <clears throat> Would you excuse us just one moment, please? <laughs> what does she mean, our side of the bargain? What bargain? What did you promise her? Eh? Hey? Well, she obviously wants to be paid, doesn't she? We can't pay her. We've no cash in the kitty. Oh, I know that. So what are we going to do then, Mr Bright Spark? Don't ask me. Well, we'll just have to keep her singing until I think of something. <laughs> oh, my head, my head, my head. Oh, stop sulking, boy. That was Debbie. Debbie was on the radio. She was great. I think she's smashing. Debbie, eh? On the radio, eh? Are you deliberately trying to wind me up, boy? No. Are you deliberately trying to aggravate me? It was her, I'm telling you, honest. Rubbish, you're hearing things. I'm not. I say you are. Why would Miss Smarty Pants waste her time singing songs on the radio? Talk sense, boy. I'm sure it was her. Well, you're wrong, it wasn't. You're imagining things. Am I? Yes. Well, it's no wonder if I am the way you overwork me. What? Every other day it's cap a tea t-shirt, do this t-shirt, do that t-shirt, t-shirt go there, t-shirt come here, t-shirt, t-shirt, t-shirt. Have you quite finished? Well, it's not fair. I never get a rest, I never get a break, and I never get a holiday. Ha! Holiday? Holiday? I'll give you a holiday. You'll give me a holiday? Great, thanks. Look, I've helped you out. When are you going to give me the lumber you promised? Did I promise you that? Yes. Oh, very well. If it'll keep you happy. Come here. Allie. Up. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, you are the apple of my eye. You're a piece what are you of. Doing? I'm singing you a number. Oh, I didn't mean that sort of number. I meant a little silver number. The little silver number seven. Eh? You said that. Oh, I could... dear. I think there may have been a mix up here. I think there has. Mm, you're not really the singer we were waiting for, are you? No. No, no. Oops. This has been a real waste of my time. Do you think you could take me back to where you found me, please? Oh, yes, right away. Come on, Debbie. This way. Sorry right. about this. Right. Now then. Well, where is everybody? Ah, oh. oh, this is the life. What are you doing here? I'm on holiday. Oh, yes. I am. Come and join me. Have a deck chair. <coughs> Sit down. It won't bite you. Orange juice? <coughs> Drink up. It's not poison. Hmm. You've been awfully kind all of a sudden. Did I hear you singing on the radio? Yes. I knew it was you. You were brilliant. Thank you. Can I have your autograph? This isn't some kind of tea bag trick, is it? Of course not. To tell you the truth, I'm getting fed up with her. All right, then. What do you want me to write? Um, to my good friend T-shirt, Love Debbie. Do you really want me to be your friend? Why? Why do you? Don't you have any other friends? Oh, all right then. Great! T-shirt! You'll be pleased to hear that my headache has gone. What a blessed relief. My mouth, however, feels like a sandwich. I'm parched. Make me a cup of tea. Gone! Gone again! I'm going to have to chain him up. I wonder if it was something I said. Maybe I was a teeny bit harsh on him. Perhaps he really did hear Smarty Pants singing on the radio. Perhaps he really was trying to help. Perhaps he's gone off somewhere to prove what a good boy he is. Oh. I'd better go and lend a hand. Well, what do we do now? What do you expect me to do? Just snap my fingers and a great artiste will suddenly appear. Just like that. It's a miracle. How do you do? Uh, how do you, uh, we have been um, expecting you. Welcome. Welcome aboard. Welcome. How kind. We are utterly honoured, ma'am. We are... Uh, be humbled. How oh, refreshing to discover there are still some people about who know their place. Oh, thank you. Yes. Well, allow me to introduce you, ma'am. This is Sylvia. Long John Sylvia. Ma'am, I'm very honoured. Of course you are. Oh, Mom, our listeners are waiting. The whole world is waiting for you to sing for us. Sing? We know, Mom. We've heard of the magnificence of your voice. You have? Which is only equaled by your elegance and beauty, Mom. That's true. Oh, we would be mighty honoured, Mom. Oh, very well. Oh, marvellous. Hello, young land lovers, wherever ye be. What a treat we have in store for ye now. Another guest singer's gone and dropped in out of the blue. So, without further ado, why not pin back your luggles and soak up the sweet sounds? You're on. Thank you. Thank you. Here's my favourite. I hope it's yours. It really gives me very great pleasure to bring a few moments' happiness into the lives of each and every one of you. I know there are many out there who appreciate... Here, Dad, it's cash. cash. What's the matter? I know that voice. So I know you'll enjoy listening to this as much tea as bag. I'm singing it for you. A C, please. <laughs> Thank you. Ah! <laughs> what the? Get me a decent micro. 
microphone. Just about. <clears throat> Here we are, Mom. <laughs> the silver number seven! I found it! I found it! What's that? The silver number seven! That's what! I have it now! Oh no, I must have been on a ship all the time! T-shirt, did you really mean it when you said you wanted to be my friend? Of course I meant it. Well, will you be my friend and take me back to the ship, please? The tea bag's there. Oh, I know that. Leave old baggy pants to me. All right, then, take my hand. Hold on to your hat. Mine, mine, mine. The silver number seven. Lucky for some, especially lucky for me. But oh, we're still on the air. Oh, uh, hoy there, shipmates. Uh, army hearties, please do not adjust your sets. That was our very special guest singer. Wasn't she wonderful? Brought to you by wonderful Radio Riff Raff, your local, vocal, very vocal, wonderful Radio Riff Raff. Tomorrow we'll be back on the air. Be, be there, there or, or be square. square. Hello again, Teabag. Well, well. If it isn't the vile child herself, I'm afraid you're just a little bit too late this time, Deborah. See, see, isn't it shiny? Oh, what a tease I am. Oh, Tisha, do something. Eh? You're my friend, help me. Nobody but nobody can help you now, Miss Clever Clever. As you well know, without all the silver numbers, your little plot to defeat me is doomed to failure. T-shirt. <laughs> Sorry, Debbie. <laughs> you will be sorry. Feast your eyes on this, because it's the last time you'll ever see it. No! Yes! And as for you, Mr. Universe... Ow! Get off! You're coming along with me. No! Yes! Debbie! T-shirt. What was that all about? All this to and fro in. It's all over now. It's me finished. It's not worth going on. Oh, come on, Debbie. It can't be that bad. Nothing's that bad. Oh, I might as well just turn round and go back. Uh, well, before you do, since you sang for your supper, stay and eat with us. Yeah, go on, go on. Oh, it's very kind, but now oh, I might as well. I'm not in a hurry to go anywhere now. Look at yourself. Call yourself a tea caddy. Ha! But you said I could have a holiday. Balderdash. You're a disgrace to the tea set. And what's all this rubbish about your being friends with that hateful Deborah? I like her. Look, she gave me this. To my good friend T-shirt, love, Debbie. Go and change, and then make me a cup of tea. I want to celebrate the downfall of that ghastly girl. Ta-da! Supper is served. For you, ma'am. Oh, fish and chips. Freshly caught. The fish, that is. Not the chips. Oh, I don't know if I'm really hungry. The soon as you've gone to all the bother. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Try the fish. Oh, that's funny. What's the matter? Something hard in this fish. Eh? Oh, it's just a piece of bone. No. <gasps> it's the silver number seven. Glory be. Well, I never. The fish must have swallowed it when it got thrown into the sea. That's right, and I caught it. And here it is now. And I've got it. What a piece of luck. What a piece of fish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>